Welcome to the first hospital in history, the Asclepian. Let us take you to the deep interior of Kos and show you around the majestic complex where Dr. Hippocrates of Kos changed medicine forever. For those of you who think this is impressive, let us take you back 2,000 years in time and experience how beautiful this place was in those days. The temple you see at the top was the Doric temple of Asclepius. He was the god of medicine. And do you recognize his staff? Unfortunately, you probably know it from your doctor's last bill. But let's explore the grounds and start with the most recent building of the complex, the Roman thermal baths we find to the east. From the back, we get a private glimpse into the cold baths. Luckily, no one's there. At the front, we see terracotta that are remnants of a hypercost, the predecessor of modern underfloor heating. Behind it lay the caladarium, the rooms with hot water. Here, we're on the other side of the frigidarium in the middle of the complex. In the wall in front of it, we can clearly see the traces of the ceiling that was once there. As we walk to the second terrace, it is good to realize that on the other side was a large stoa with 26 rooms for patients. To the right of the stairs, we find a monument with a pedestal in honor of Gaius Dershinius Xenophon, the famous doctor of Emperor Claudius. Gaius is said to have been involved in his poison murder on behalf of Claudius' wife, the powerful Agrippina. Via the propylon, the luxurious stairs of the entrance, we reach the middle terrace. The Corinthian columns to the left are the remains of a temple that was probably dedicated to Apollo. Italian archaeologists restored and re-erected them in 1930. A little bit further, we find a semicircular exedra, an alcove, which probably had only a decorative purpose on the square here. Do you see the larger columns on the other side of the square? We know that probably the famous Aphrodite Anagiomene painting by the Greek painter Appels once hung there. But because the cones supported Mark Anthony, his rival Emperor Augustus took the painting away to Rome as a fine for the islanders. Since then, the painting that was valued at 1,000 talents has been lost forever. Now we have arrived on the upper terrace at the great temple of Asclepius. It was built during the reign of King Eumens II. The temple was a grand imitation of the temple of Asclepios in Epidauros, which underlines the prosperity of course and its Asclepian. But as you enjoy the view between these remains of the temple, it is important to realize that this Asclepian is most famous because Hippocrates was educated here and not because of the god Asclepius. In the time of Hippocrates, medicine was primarily a religious matter where visiting temples and worshiping gods were considered important for healing. Hippocrates laid the foundation for modern medicine by drawing attention to knowledge of the body and physical processes. In this peaceful place in nature, for the first time in history, people were treated on the basis of knowledge instead of faith. Although the Hippocratic writings were probably not all written by Hippocrates himself, his oath and pure view, 
on understanding the human body laid the foundation for modern medicine. Thanks for watching and see you again in one of our next videos.